Hi everybody, how are you? Happy Wednesday. I'm so excited to have you here. It is Jewelry Party Wednesday, woohoo! And I have got all kinds of trays of gorgeous pieces to show you. So sit back, relax, get yourself your favorite cup of tea, fun mocktail, cocktail, whatever you're doing uh, to get through today and enjoy the rest of your evening. A uh, very lovely day here in Chicago. Uh, weather was nice and warm and sunny. Uh, it was a great day and we got a lot done here and we wanna just thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts as uh, small businesses. Thank you so much for continuing to support us and uh, share our things and just talk about us and everything because it really means more than you know. So without further ado, we have an amazing collection this week. It is called the Ambition Collection because it is dedicated to all the women out there who are following their dreams. And I really wanted these pieces to be subtle style statements that you could really feel good about putting on that are unique and different and pieces that you just can't find anywhere else. But I also wanted them to be totally wearable. So you can really easily be able to dress them up and dress them down and feel comfortable. So I see we've got lots of friends here who are joining us tonight. I see that we have Mary Grace, Katie Brown, Michelle Martin, Mary Grace Martin, Margaret. And I know that we've got quite a few other people who are watching us as well. So I am really Really excited because tonight and here comes Gail uh, we've got a great show we've got all kinds of awesome pieces I'm gonna sorry I'm gonna put my hand over here for just a minute I'm gonna make sure that the camera is a little bit better focused uh, yes I openly admit I do not have makeup on today I have a little bit of lipstick on and that is it because it has just been a go 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 day here I had a wonderful opportunity to catch up with another small business who was telling me all about what he was going through we chatted about some jewelry we chatted about some business things um, and so it was just really great and it was a nice opportunity to speak to someone else about all the things that are going on but I am very excited and if your camera was just taken just a second ago uh, Mr. Sparky is still here running around. <laughs> Uh, we have got just so many awesome pieces and it's just been so fun. This has been a really great collection. Lots of people have commented about how much they really enjoy it and everybody seems to have a different favorite find in it as well. So I'm going to go ahead. I believe Ms. Leanne should be joining us here any minute, but we do have a challenge tonight for everybody. So uh, we will be announcing a winner next week on Wednesday night, but we do have an awesome challenge, which you'll hear more about at the end. So stay tuned because I would love to tell you how you can win a $25 gift card to Vintage Meat Modern. And you only have to do a little bit of work to get it. So this is the Ambition Collection. There are all kinds of amazing pieces, as you can see. Uh, we will start the evening off by probably talking about some of the bracelets because I think that they are awesome. Um, and also I'll talk a lot about there's Leanne and there she is and Caitlin's here too. Everybody's here. So uh, the gang is all together as they say. So we've got an awesome and amazing collection. It's a lot of fun. And let's start off the evening talking about the bracelets because I'm really surprised that the bracelets are still here actually. Uh, I mean, the, the, some of the bracelets have sold, but there are still like a couple of my favorites. And, you know, I always say that I don't have favorites because that would be like picking a favorite child. Uh, but I really do love all the bracelets that we had this week. I thought they were really fun. They're really easy to wear. Uh, just for everybody who's like here or who knows or has been like in my private Facebook group today, too. I have on like a pair of like olive green uh, cargo pants that are from Anthropology. Very forgiving. They actually have like these little tassels on the side that you can tighten up to make more comfortable. And I just have on like the softest V-neck t-shirt. I should have made note from where I got this one because it's really soft and it's one of those ones that if you put it through the washer, it doesn't pill. It has like a little sateen finish to it and it's just very flattering and it fits really well. And so I'm dressed very casually today. I have on a pair of flats. And so everything that I'm showing you tonight would actually really go nicely with this outfit. And since many of us have been discussing uh, 
getting dressed down and being more comfortable. I'm just going ahead and showing you how easy it is to be able to wear these things even when you're at home and you're just relaxing. I think it's a really good lesson learned. Like I spoke today to someone and then also I was listening to a really good podcast and we were talking about being an optimist going along with the ambition collection. And we were talking about how that right now, many people can feel like maybe it's a sense of overwhelm, but if you take a step back and you realize all the extra time you have to work on other things you might normally not, you can probably actually have a pretty positive attitude. So that's one of the things that I really like about being able to get to spend some time with you. You all cheer me up and I hope that we can all cheer up you too. So this is that gorgeous uh, revival bracelet from the 1950s. This one is a clamper style and it features some floral detailing on it. It goes all the way back to the hinge and it just has a slight taper to it. I like this one for a couple different reasons. The first of which is the floral pattern actually reminds me of sort of an Art Nouveau styling with the floral and the garland. But at the same time, it's got those Renaissance revival colors that you see with the turquoise and the lapis glass and the jade and the carnelian and the onyx. This piece is probably most likely an American made piece, though it does remind me of some of the Czech pieces that we get from time to time. Uh, this one is not signed, but it's a nice higher quality piece piece and it does have glass cabochons. So one of those things are the things that I always look for when we're trying to find the pieces that are of a higher quality as well as the pieces that have a distinct design and feel to them. So I like this one because it also has a bit of an antique gold tone finish to it. It's a softer gold tone versus like I'll just hold up this Monet necklace as you can see by contrast. This is a much paler tone to it than your traditional bright gold tone. So so for those of you who like something that takes on more of a patina or something that's easier to mix with both your silver and your gold jewelry, this is a really super nice piece. This is a really fun one. Uh, and then also it's got the accents of those different cabochons. And I like the different cabochons because it's easy to be able to wear it also with a few of the rings that we have too. So we've got the jade glass cocktail ring uh, and you can see the same kind of jade colors that you see in the ring. You can easily see that you can complement and pull them out in the bracelet. Uh, somebody also said that they didn't think that this ring would fit and this ring with the pearls and the jade glass, which also goes very nicely with this one, is actually an adjustable ring. So for those of you who have concerns, but you really like the vintage rings, always try to pick up some of the adjustable ones because they really are like being able to have that extra expansion. So, you know, if you have too much pizza the night before, I am a Chicago girl. I don't deny that. We eat pizza once a week. Uh, or maybe if your hands are really cold and they, you know, shrink up also and things like that, you can always make these rings smaller and larger and you can wear them more comfortably. So these are just a couple of the rings that I really like that go with this bracelet. I think it's a very nice combination. And this is just one of my favorite bracelets tonight. We've got a couple more to go through. But as long as I have the jade ring and I'm like panoramically looking here, I'm looking to show you we've got a couple other pieces that go really nice with these rings. So let's go ahead and talk about those now too. So one of the other pieces that goes nice with the jade green, as you can see, we also have this moth or butterfly inspired 1970s bohemian chic jade pendant necklace. Uh, I like this one, obviously, also because it's got the jade cabochon on it, but it also has the addition of the gold coins. Everybody listen. So you got a little bit of a shaker money maker piece with here with this one. But no, I really do like this one because it has one of those bohemian chic style feelings. And for those of you who, again, who are looking for pieces that you can really easily dress down, a lot of you know that I like shopping at Anthropology. I even like finding Anthropology style things on thread off. I really do like shopping secondhand. But I also really make conscious decisions about when I put things in my wardrobe. One of the most fun things that I love to add to my personal style is I like kimonos, I like larger caftans, and I like things that resemble like piano shawls. Things that are always really truly one size fit all, so they're really easy to be able to complement with different styles of clothing, including wearing tighter fitting t-shirts underneath it and then some dress pants, or you can wear it with some really 
billowy, really flowy pants, uh, and even some tunic style blouses. So for those of you who enjoy shopping at everything from Chico's to Anthropology to shopping pure vintage and secondhand, for those of you who just in like embracing sort of a bohemian chic style, all of these pieces go really, really nicely all together. So I do like this one because it also has a little bit of a longer chain. So I have that vintage uh, Givenchy Couture necklace on. And this one is great because you can wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and do a lot of different things with it. But for those of you who are looking for something that's a little bit longer, that's more like a statement pendant, I also like this one because it does hit at a longer size. So if you can easily be able to picture this one, again, I like things that are at least an 18 or a 20 inch. You can see how nicely this lays. Best part about it is it doesn't lay right in the middle of your cleavage. So for those of you who are either trying to detract from the fact that you have a larger bust or for those of you who don't want anything that's hanging right in the middle of it, regardless of our chest size, this is a very flattering length. Remember, one of the things that I do like to tell all of you is, is that these are really actually, I know that some people would feel like, oh, I don't really want to talk about those things, but we do need to be body conscious. And as a stylist, it's really important for me to tell you what I think will really help you. It is about making sure that you feel comfortable and that you have a fit that you're actually going to wear so that you wear the pieces. So I love being able to really be able to show you how things fit in terms of the neckline and how you can comfortably be able to wear it. So I obviously am a huge fan of this necklace. I've said a lot about it. I like the fact that it goes with some of the different rings that we have. I really like that it's easy to be able to wear with the bracelet that I started at the very beginning of the evening show you. All of these kind of go together and tell a nice style story. That's another thing that we talk about here a lot at Vintage Meat Modern is investing in pieces that can kind of tell their own story all together. So we do have this piece and it is a really great one. It's also lightweight and it makes a really nice style statement as well. Yes, Alicia said, yes, Alicia, you got that really gorgeous peacock colored inspired one that you shared with all of us. That was a great find. All right, up next, we have been talking all about minimalist jewelry as well as classic pieces that are really just great classic jewelry box pieces as well. And now I am showing you a double strand crown trafari gold bead necklace. Uh, this one has a J hook and a little bit of an extender on it. And I like this one because it is very classic. So for those of you who are like, mm, I really like the rhinestone pieces, but it's just way outside of my comfort zone. Actually, I, it was Rhonda Baker who was on here earlier, who was showing us the piece of collectible Trafari that she has. And while that one is a very collectible one based on the series that it is in, I tell people all the time that Crown Trafari is one of the absolute best vintage companies that you can invest in because the quality and the finish on them really do last. They last fantastic. Uh, if you see a piece that is from the 50s and the 60s that is in this good a condition and looks like it's a real good necklace or really gold necklace, grab it. Add it to your collection. You will not regret it at all. The other thing that I want to remind you is, is that you're investing in a piece that is truly wearable. I love when we can give you something that you can easily be able to dress up and dress down. And this is a piece that you can wear easily with your classic gold jewelry. You can layer it with other pieces. It is a great size and scale, as I will show you, is to actually be able to hang brooches on. So there's just a lot of different things that you could be able to do with this piece that you don't necessarily necessarily have to just stick to and think, you know, well, it's just a double strand gold necklace. It's not just a double gold strand necklace. It's going to become one of your jewelry box essentials. It's going to be one of those pieces that you wear over and over again and always get compliments on. It's like your jewelry BFF. It's like the one that's going to be able to help you look and feel your best. Like the way that I just put this little tiny vintage Austria brooch pinned to it like a pendant in the very front. So like I said, pick pieces that are going to be your jewelry BFF. Pick pieces that no matter what on the days where you don't want to think about how you're going to pull together you look, you have those classics like really great pearls or a really great classic gold necklace or some classic 
gold bracelets. So as long as I have that classic necklace on and I do have the Austria brooch on, we also, if you're not a necklace lover, we've got some really great classic gold bracelets. And these look so chic and elegant, either mixed with your own classic gold jewelry. They look great all layered up together if you like to wear things. And for those of you who tell me, we always put this survey and we always put this poll up. Everybody says, I wear black. I wear black, I wear neutrals, I wear wardrobe basics. So if you are more of a classic trending girl, remember, these are all high quality pieces again. You've got the Monet scroll bracelet, which features a nice scroll design. Again, very high quality, has got the original safety chain that is on it with a tight fold over class. Uh, my personal favorite, the geometric link. I like things that are right angles, I admit it. I'm very much one of those people that walks around and makes sure that all the pictures are always straight. I just like things that are at those perfect 90 degree and 180 degree angles. I like straight lines and perfect corners. Uh, and then also I like things that have that O and this is a very pretty textured link bracelet. So for those of you who think to myself, well, I would never ever put the brooch on that necklace. That's fine. We're not asking you to. We're telling you that there's an ability to be able to do it. But for those of you who really want to classic gold necklace, I mean, this would be a very standout statement style. And again, I have on a black tee today. This is something that most people probably already have hanging in their closet. So we've got some great pieces that are some really awesome, just classic ones. And I mean, the Crown Trafari necklace, if you're new to collecting vintage, we've got a lot of new people who are joining us. Uh, if you're new uh, in the sense that you don't know where to start, always remember, pick up a few classic pieces because those will be the ones that never let you down. All right, moving on. I think I've said my piece on those. I love, uh, up next, we've got a classic pair of earrings that are actually a vintage Joan Rivers pair. Joan Rivers, actually, she had a very distinctive line of jewelry, and yes, it was sold through QVC and HSN, but many of her pieces were modeled to look after fine jewelry, as well as she contracted with companies that made pieces that were like fine jewelry. Many of the pieces were based on pieces that she actually had in her own collection. I think it was either Gail or someone else in our group had shown something that was related to Fabergé eggs. And that was probably one of the most famous designs that she did when she worked for QVC and HSN was she did the Imperial Egg Series, which were those little tiny eggs that looked like little Fabergé ones and they were charms. But I'm going off on that, but I'm saying that, so one of the things that we've talked about are some of the books that we had, uh, Joan Rivers books with her jewelry is actually one of my favorites because you really learn about how that she talks about really fine jewelry pieces and craftsmanship that also influences the pieces that she made that are readily available. So again, these are a really nice, well-balanced, easy pair to be able to wear. They have both a contemporary feel to it and they also have a classic feel to it. So these actually remind me very much of the high-end designs that we see with the cable pieces from pieces even similar to David Yurman. It has that nice linear style on it. And this has the addition of some Pave Swarovski set rhinestones on it. I like these because you can really dress them up or dress them down and you don't really need anything else to go with them. But if you want to be able to make some pretty sets out of pieces, there are quite a few pieces that you can do that with. So headed back to talking about bracelets, uh, if you like that contemporary styling and you like those little curves that you see as well as the lines, one of the mid-century modern bracelets that we have that I love is another one of these mid-century modern ones that is featuring this mesh with the swirls of the prong set rhinestones that are on it. I like this one because it's a smaller clamper. I love the mesh because I think it's just that very much 1950s, 1960s, kind of reminds you a little bit of the Whiting and Davis styles, but just the mesh in general, uh, that overlay of being a part of that mid-century modern. I think that we can even think of some of those classic art pieces that we love that were with the metallics. So this to me feels like it has that true 1950s, 1960s vibe that many of us think about when we think about 
about vintage jewelry. But this is a great classic piece again. This is a really easy one to be able to pop on with your favorite gold or your favorite black or your favorite white tee, whatever you're wearing. It's very comfortable, very forgiving and easy to get on and off. So for those of you who say, but I avoid bracelets because somebody needs to help me put them on. The clampers, no, they're your friends. Again, they're ones that are really easily wearable. Uh, you can easily be able to take them on and take them off and you don't have to worry about having anybody help you put them. They're all the spring hinged ones. This one is also in very good condition. Uh, it is not missing or, and it doesn't have any dark stones. And I really like the way that it goes with the vintage Joan Rivers, the earrings that I'm showing you. It plays up really nicely on that classic shiny gold with the mesh finish, but then also the rhinestones really complement each other really nicely with this piece. So this is another one of kind of, kind of fan favorites this evening, if you will. Well, before I take those off, I should talk about another piece that I really like that do that does go very nicely with these earrings, which is the large Pave Nolan Miller brooch, which to me is one of my absolute favorites. And it has truly one of those high end couture styling to it. So, so many times we talk about how that you can achieve the look of distinction that you want by adding higher end or designer accessories to your look. The accessories are really what pulls everything together. So I love the rose or the camellia style motif. It is a nod to Chanel. It's a nod to Oscar de la Renta. It's a nod to Dior. It's a nod to all of the designers that you really love. And it's a very easy one to be able to wear on its own. And it's very easy to be able to layer up with other pieces. So as you can see, I've got the vintage Joan Rivers piece on. This is a nice, very large brooch. Remember, if you have not studied my brooch tricks uh, related to things, remember it's very easy to be able to pin a piece of moleskin or to put a Band-Aid even afterwards. So even when you wear your thinner fabrics, there are ways to be able to anchor your favorite brooch to it. For those of you who are not necklace girls and you're really new to vintage jewelry, I always say the brooch is going to be your best friend. The brooch is a really fantastic piece because it fits everybody. It always looks classic. They're hard to find in other places. So you can really see how this gorgeous piece just pops so nicely against classic black. And again, I have on like a $20 t-shirt today. We are talking about the ability to be able to really mix high and low pieces together over and over again, but they're completely wearable too. So this piece is definitely one of my all-time favorites. I mean, if you can't like just appreciate how sparkly and how classic and gorgeous it is, I know that the right person is going to add this piece to their collection and they are going to receive so many compliments whenever they wear it because it just has very beautiful classic designer style to it, but it is a huge standout style statement piece as well. So you really know that you are going to look distinctive whenever you walk into a room. Definitely by far. If we're talking about the ambition collection, this is for an ambitious woman. She's going to look fantastic whenever she puts it on. Now, speaking of ambitious women and thinking, uh, speaking of people who always have a very classic styling, we also have a lovely brooch here from Crown Trafari. Oh, this is the coral. I'm sorry. We have a coral and a Crown Trafari piece tonight. This is the, yes, they are always great conversation pieces too. Same. Save on my clothes and splurge on my sparkles. Well, yes, of course. And the reason why is because the jewelry will always fit you. That used to be our tagline for many, many years was that the jewelry always fits, which is true. The jewelry does always fit. It's not that it's not our tagline anymore. It's just it has become so much ingrained in part of what we talk about when we talk about our mission to help women look and feel their best here at Vintage Meet Modern is that the jewelry is something that you can feel really good about making the investment. And I say that always, not just on the investment based on the fact that things come out to being pennies per wear if you wear them on a regular basis but don't forget you are also investing in pieces that you cannot find anymore they're out of production they cannot be remade again because these companies are out of business and they're made out of quality materials 
plus it's environmentally friendly as well. So there's five excellent reasons. And I don't have to tell any of you who are here because everybody I know who's watching tonight loves vintage jewelry for the same reason that we love being able to bring it to you. But if you do know somebody who's new to collecting or if you really just want to strike up a conversation with someone, it's super fun to be able to tell them all of the benefits of it because I think a lot of people are like, oh, I didn't always think of it that way. Uh, but there's many different facets to it. They love behind the scenes here, by the way, when I use jewelry puns. Uh, there are many different facets to collecting and there's many different facets to helping pick the best piece for you. Uh, which let's talk about this little coral sweetie because this coral piece is one of the ones that's actually featured in the book. Uh, lately, I've been wearing my newest sparkles and the citrines from my hubby gave me, and I need to find the matching earrings. Uh, besides, people don't today, and I love your black. Yeah, I mean, black is just so easy to wear. Uh, honestly, to tell you the truth, I wore it today because I knew that I was going to be digging through some things, for lack of a better way of putting it, and it was certainly not a day to wear white. Plus, I will admit, with the kids being home, uh, there's a lot of peanut butter and jelly, and I don't want anybody using me as a napkin. Mr. Michael's got pretty good table manners, but uh, we still we still like like to eat a lot of Nutella and peanut butter and things like that. So today seemed like the perfect day to not have to think about what I was going to wear. So I also have got on this coral brooch, which is great because it is a nice mix of late 1940s and early 1950s. Uh, it's a signed piece. When people start to talk to me about what kind of designers to look for and to first get started, I always say that coral is one of my favorite ones because it's a higher quality piece and because they are also really known for their patent work. And that might not mean anything to you specifically when you're looking at the designs, but it does mean that they were really proud of their designs and they were very much ahead of their time in terms of documenting things as well. So when we talk about the collectability of certain designers, well, Coral might be an easy one to find. It's an easy one to learn about vintage jewelry with too. There's lots of different articles on it. There's lots of things that you hear about the Katz family. Uh, you know that Coral also manufactured and made pieces for other companies like Vendome was one of their subsidiaries. So you can really learn a lot about how that this one particular designer made many, many different kinds of jewelry and made many, many different kinds throughout the years with different styles as things came and gone. So the lower piece is the Coral one and it does have a nod to the 1940s and the early 1950s. It has that slightly textured geometric circle and then it has the addition of the pearls. This is a book piece. This is a great one, especially for people who are just starting out or people who also like to wear three piece sets. So I was joking about it the other day when I was talking about, because everybody knows here I'm a big Mrs. Maisel fan, and I'm still talking about that funny bingo card that was going around with the Mrs. Maisel bingo, where it said, you know, you could put a spot or a dot on your card every time Rose walked in and was impeccably dressed. And I always say one of the things that I really love about that is, is that Rose always has all the pieces of the jewelry set, or she always has all the coordinating pieces on. She always has the necklace, the earrings, the brooch. And that's one of these pieces that if you like being able to wear the necklace, the earrings, and you don't want a big brooch, as you can see, these are perfect to wear either together or singularly. These would also be really super cute on a jean jacket. So think about taking that more casual look and then adding your own twist on it. So the sweet little Trafari brooch is great because it features pearls. So it means it's really easy to wear with other pearl jewelry. Uh, it's really easy to be able to stack it up and layer with other pieces like we showed you with the little coral brooch that's below it. Uh, and it's also just a very nice classic contemporary design. Both of these pieces who are from 1940s and 1950s will still be relevant 50 years from now. That's one of the best things that I love about being able to help my styling clients is reminding them that when we're intentional about what we're even adding to our jewelry box, things like this are always going to be relevant. They're not trendy. They're timeless. So I love this brooch because you can obviously wear it with other classic pearl jewelry. And I do like it because of the style and the design of it. It really will never look dated. 
So I've put it on with the small mid-century modern earrings. Uh, these are the little mid-century modern earrings with the faux pearls. And I like these faux pearl earrings because they actually have a matte finish to them versus a shiny or a lustrous pearl. So for those of you who even gravitate away from even your classic pearls, saying I like them, but I don't like a shimmer, or I don't like a sheen with things, this is a nice balance of a matte gold finish with a matte pearl in it. So you still get the benefit of the creamy white undertone without the shiny luminescence to it. But it still does go really nicely with other classic pearl pieces. So this is a really fun and it's a great pair of earrings. Uh, for those of you who, again, really are looking for something that's just classic, well-balanced, easy to wear, these are those earrings. Uh, and they also have the added benefit of not being super blinky. So we get a lot of people who, since we are talking about the Ambition Collection and we're talking about professional women, we do understand that at times you don't feel it's appropriate to wear all your sparkles from head to toe. And so I, we do want you to know there are great pieces that make those very subtle but very distinctive style statements uh, that are perfect to be worn both in your personal life and your professional settings as well. So we do have these earrings. They're a very nice size, very nice scale. If you're new to wearing clip earrings, they're also very comfortable. And uh, you can also easily be able to mix and match these with the like uh, little ear clips we have. I call them the little Dr. Shoals of, you know, clip earrings. But you can use these with the pads and make them even more comfortable if you're not used to wearing them. All right, going back to sort of our pearly tones. And then speaking of pieces that have a mother of pearl, but can also either have a contemporary or a bohemian chic feel. We do have a classic 1970s mother of pearl disc necklace. Uh, this one features a barrel clasp that screws in with each other. And it also features a matte, a shiny mother of pearl that's been carved to be circular disc-like. And then it's got these gold links that are in between each of them. So it's a really easy piece to be able, again, to wear with your classic black. And it's another one that also these pearls have a very creamy undertone to them. So this is a genuine mother of pearl piece. It's been polished. Uh, and as you can see, this is another one that's a really great one to be able to wear with a variety of styles. So if you like wearing things that are more tunic, more billowy. Uh, if you like wearing linen, this is a great piece. But if you like being able to wear classic black, but then remember, if you like wearing florals and patterns and things like that, this is another piece that's never going to really let you down. It's a nice longer piece. And I will contrast that with this is also the mother of pearl necklace that we have that's available in the sterling silver. And this one features the same creamy color that you see with the gold. And this one also features a gray and a garnet. And I saw that Madison was seeing here. Uh, I oh, I know what Madison added to her collection. And Madison has the Princess Diana ring too. Congratulations, Madison. Madison also just recently graduated from culinary school. And I believe when all of this COVID-19 is over, she's going to go work for Disney, like in their culinary area. So contrasting things together, you can see we also have a very pretty Y style necklace. This one features the gray mother of pearl uh, with a tiny little garnet, but it has a warmer tone too. So this one is a really nice piece. Also, many times we get requests where we say, I really like everything you have, but I'm more of a silver person. Or I really like the pieces that you have, but I like something that has more of an artisan feeling to it. This is the true authentic vintage piece, but it does have an artisan quality to it. It is set in genuine sterling silver, and it has more of a contemporary feel when we think of like 80s and 90s jewelry to it. But it also is with genuine stones. So it is a really pretty piece to be able to add to your collection and know that you're adding a piece of higher quality. You can also see both of these pieces are easy to layer up with other pieces. So if you like being able to layer pieces, you definitely have the ability to be able to do things like that. So I'm going to take this one off now and let you see that it's easy to be able to wear this one alone too. Ta-da! This is a great piece to fill a v-neck very classically. And for those of you who do like to wear black, the gray mother of pearl is a perfect accent to be able to wear with that because you're not bringing in just all the dark black, but you're really complementing it with a lighter gray. I'm going to take a sip of my juice. 
I encourage you to all do the same. <laughs> Thank you for being patient with me. It was just one of those days where since I did get to go out to see somebody, even though I had a mask on the whole time, I think many of us just miss being with people, don't we? <laughs> so I was so I was so grateful to have somebody to talk to. <laughs> so uh, up next, definitely one of my favorite pieces. So this is the vintage Napier necklace or Napier as they say. And this is just the chunkiest necklace to die for. So this one is so my style. I love wearing just a t-shirt with like a truly couture style necklace that is going to fill the neckline. And I'm sorry, remember, this is always what happens to me. I can't tell. This is not like with your iPhone and your eye camera where you go ahead and you can see easily which direction you're going and you kind of go in the opposite direction of whatever it is. So this necklace is like a cha-cha style. Uh, it is intended to have the little pieces and the little coral pieces dangling off of it. As you can see, it all kind of depends on how it lays because it has the little lucite corals that are kind of wrapped into it. So it does hang kind of charm style. Uh, the colors on this one are just awesome. I have worn this with like bright yellows and classic blacks. It also has got the addition of the turquoise in it. And when we talk about the way that these lucite pieces are made and how they're made differently than other pieces, they really are. It's a very, very high quality necklace and it's got a lot of different elements of detail going on it. I mean, in many ways, I can't believe that this necklace is an authentic 1950s, 1960s piece because it feels like a recent statement necklace. And also, it didn't really feel like a signature Napier, like the way that we think of Napier when we think of the advertisements from the 80s and the 90s, where it was like, Napier is sassier and Napier is glossier. And, you know, that was their famous tagline for many, many years. But when you think of the Napier pieces from the 80s, you think of just like the bold, gold, classic pieces. But if you have the Napier book, you'll know that like they just made so many incredible pieces. And this is the one that is just one of the favorites that I've ever had from them. And actually that Napier sterling silver ginkgo leaf that we had, which was another collectible piece that was actually photographed in the book. It was like an early 1940s sterling silver dress clip. We got a message today that someone bought it for their wife for Mother's Day because she's an artist and she paints ginkgo leaves. So it's really fun when we get to be part of those stories. I really do appreciate when people tell us. And I just thought it was so fun to hear how somebody was adding a piece of vintage to their collection because of somebody who uses it very symbolically in their life right now. I love being part of those memories. And as you know, May is all about making memories. And I told you that it doesn't just have to be pieces from your past that are happy memories. It can also be about making memories right now. Like I said, we're all ambitious women and we all have dreams. I'm another one to tell you, like, you know, you're never too late to start a dream. So if you want to learn taking up guitar or sewing or start a business, whatever you want to do. We're here to support you on that because it's never too late to follow your dreams. And it's never too late to certainly feel the fulfillment of doing something that brings you joy and happiness. The same way that jewelry connects us. I always say that the jewelry is like our own little secret language that we have with each other. So I'm a huge fan uh, to get this vintage Napier necklace. I also like it because it has some classic elements that are mixed into it. So it's got the pearls, it's got the turquoise, uh, it also has got the classic gold. So there's lots and lots of different things that you can be able to wear with that one. And I want to contrast it with that we also have got another piece that is a very contemporary styling. Uh, and this one I am going to actually show you is easy to be able to wear with an extender. Because I think a lot of people uh, are worried that this one, because it's short, it's like a 16 inch, that they could not comfortably be able to wear it, which is just not true. Remember, just like I tell my children, problems have solutions. <laughs> Even jewelry has solutions. Uh, so this is this really awesome 1980s uh, contemporary style the lapis necklace. And to me, this just feels so Dallas 
Falcon Crest dynasty. Uh, it feels like something that you would have seen Joan Collins wear with a suit uh, and probably some really nice big blingy earrings with a little bit of pave rhinestones to complement them. So this necklace I do also like because it has a minimalist sculptural style to it too. So when I frequently go to a lot of, well, when we were still going to things, when I would frequently go to a lot of both vintage and contemporary fairs uh, and visit things like show of hands or go and visit things that are even related to um, what's the big one here in Chicago that everybody, like Renegade, you know, many times when you would go to these types of fairs and things, a lot of things that you would see repetitive in the new jewelry designers is one, the use of uh, semi-precious gemstones in classic bold colors like lapis, jasper, malachite. And then also you would see these contemporary style line items. I'm sure many of you have seen them. Like I said, I don't judge against jewelry. I like it all. Uh, I have an appreciation for all of it. So contemporary, modern designers, mixing and matching, high, low, I'm all about that. So a lot of things though, as you see a lot of repetition in is geometric designs. So circles, triangles, squares, interlocking links, those types of things. And I guess that's the reason why I like this piece is because even though I feel like it's a nod to 1980s style, I feel like it also has a modernist twist to it that can be pretty minimalist also. It's kind of like a minimalist statement piece. Uh, it's also a great one that you can just wear honestly with a pair of diamond studs. You don't have to wear a big statement earring with it. And for those of you who really like layering up, you could easily also wear this with classic gold bangles. So this one is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, yes, 80s power broker, Diane Keaton and Baby Boom. Yeah, I mean, there's so many great style stories. And if you look back and you think about the structured suits and the style of clothing that the women wore and everything, today we might say that we don't want to necessarily put on that style of clothes, but we can certainly identify with the types of accessories they wore. Because whether it was the big, bold, neon-colored earring or it was a chunky pearl with like lots of bling on it, or it was a huge Maharaja style necklace, like the one that actually Joan Collins wore, that Kenneth J. Lane designed, people really appreciate and understand the decadence that was associated with the jewelry. So there's nothing wrong with getting to add that to your look today. I think that if you were to wear this out today, even with a classic white shirt or the black, you'd receive a lot of compliments on it. But like I said, if you take a if you take a look at this piece closer on the website and you get a little bit closer and you look at the details and you say, oh my gosh, Veronica, I love that piece, but it's just too short. I could never wear it because it wouldn't fit me comfortably. I'm telling you that I have right now on a little bit of necklace extender and I'll show you how I did it. Uh, this is a signed piece too. This is a couture style piece this uh, modern lapidus one. This is a 16 inch. As you know, I really like being able to wear an 18 inch at the, at the shortest really. Uh, so here hooking on to the back of it, I've just used a necklace extender to make it more comfortable. And I've connected it to the flat link using just a little necklace extender that adds an additional two inches, which makes it really comfortable and easily, easily to wear. It's also something that you don't have to rework. Like you don't have to take it to a jeweler to have the clasp changed or anything like that. Those are the types of things that I love being able to present to people because I don't want a length of something unless it can't be altered to be what hangs you up from adding a piece that you really love. Yes, Leanne says she's a fan of shoulder pads. You know what, I'll tell you, my mom will tell you that shoulder pads are your friends, okay? I mean, we gave her all a hard time wearing them and now she's like, I'm 80 and I need them. So, you know, go ahead and sew them back into my clothes. So as you can see, I just took the little extender here and I went ahead and I took the little flat link and I put the little circle or the little jump ring right in between it. And then where you would connect the jump ring to the other side anyways, I just hooked the extender on right like that. So it doesn't change the orientation of the necklace at all. It still connects it right to the back of the neck. Uh, it's also in the same gold tone. So you're not messing with anything related to adding something that's not there. And it's just a really easy piece. I did it like in 10 seconds. You know, it wasn't something that was not going to be able to be doable for all of you to do it too. All right. Up next, 
What are we gonna talk about? Let's talk about another piece that's really a bold piece. Uh, we talked about the Napier piece. Another piece that we have tonight that's just an awesome, awesome piece is this vintage piece from Monet. And one of the things that I love about it is, well, besides the fact that it looks like it's a collar goddess necklace like the Cleopatra would wear, <laughs> uh, it also is a really, really well-made piece. So I'm showing you that I'm clipping on right now. This is one of those pieces that actually has an extender. And this piece literally fits like an articulated collar. So what I envision a woman wearing this with is actually probably a high neck black dress or just wearing it with a very chic white collar with it popped up. And yes, you do feel like you're a goddess as soon as you put this on. This is another one of those pieces that just lays perfectly. This is the difference between what we see when we talk about how that these designers really designed the pieces for the women who wore them. They designed them with women in mind. And so this piece has an articulation that goes along with it with the links that, as you can see, it lays perfectly on me. Now, I could very easily be able to take the extra link out, but for me, I like wearing something a little bit longer. So this gives me the flexibility and be able to wear it at the length that I want. This is one of those pieces that like you can feel really good about when you just open up the box and you look at it because you're going to think to yourself, I don't have anything else like that. And I don't see anything like that when I shop either on the stores or online. Uh, this is another one that if you go ahead and you Google it, there's not very many of them out there. I've had this piece twice, and both times it was bought by a company that actually used it to be in a movie. So I know that this piece has a lot of aura and presence to it. It feels like something that would also be very appropriate to wear with a Mary McFadden gown. For those of you who are fans of Mary McFadden and her crinkled silk, uh, the way that it sort of kind of it flows, but it has this unique linear crinkle to it. And, you know, her pieces were very opulent and very stylish. Uh, and they're just a really great piece to be able to think of putting very sleek accessories with, but still standout pieces. So if you love those sorts of stylings, I would definitely look up like what Mary McFadden is and look up what her gowns are. And you could easily be able to see something like this being worn with it. So, and again, this is a very nicely made piece. Um, Again, you know, here goes Veronica nervous that she's not going to be able to get something off on camera. Turned out I was just opening the clasp in the wrong direction. Uh, this is another piece that's nice because, like I said, we have the extender that goes with it. That's another rare find is, is that, you know, even if these pieces were in existence and that they're, you know, 50 plus years old, it's not very often that we actually find the extender to go with something, too. But in this case, we are lucky. We've done that for you. All right, let's talk about a couple brooches that we have. We've got some very pretty brooches this evening. Uh, I showed this one when I was talking about the Crown Trafari necklace earlier with the double beads. This one is a little tiny made in Austria piece. It is a featuring a very pretty light bright kind of a peridot color rhinestone on the outside and then it has a green blue Aurora Borealis on the center. It is sort of like a small little kind of daisy styling or a little floral blossom styling. And this one is another great one to be able to pin to your favorite sweater, your favorite dress, your favorite jean jacket. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close the clasp also. Then that way it won't stay, that way it won't. And then it's just a nice size and scale to be able to wear with other pieces. So this one's a nice little bright sparkly one. I don't know if Katie Brown is still in here, but she showed us the other day actually how she had put them all along her neckline. So for those of you, and that's actually, actually a very high end look if you follow Veronica Beard. Uh, I think it was last year or the year before with her winter line. She actually did something very similar to that. And we're going to be lucky tonight because we always are since we're all together. Uh, we also have a sweet little Monet brooch uh, that's also in the shades of green. It's a little shamrock. Uh, if I was not putting them on camera, of course, I would arrange them to be up a little bit higher. But for those of you who like being able to wear different shades of 
together. We have the sweet little Austria one, and then we have this very fun vintage one that's also from Vintage Monet. Uh, two awesome Vintage Monet pieces tonight. This one is a green clover or a green shamrock, and it features all kinds of different shades of green. It has a darker green, it has a cooler green, it has a warmer toned green in it. It just has all the different shades. Uh, and it does look really sweet with the little shamrock. This would be really pretty kind of scatter pin style all together. So these are really fun ones that we have also. And as long as we're talking about green, green was very popular this week. Uh, we've got also a really awesome wide thermoset bracelet. I don't know how we still have these bracelets. They look so chic with a t-shirt and jeans. You don't need to do anything else when you wear them. Uh, it's like almost like having an embellished cuff. They're so fun. So this is the green bracelet that we have. And it's another one that goes really nicely with other classic gold jewelry. You can also be able to pop it on with the jade green ring. Uh, but you can see it's a really fun one. And it's just got nice style and nice presence. It's so big, though, that I honestly wouldn't wear it with anything. I would let it be like the statement piece the same way I'd wear the statement necklace. Uh, and I think that it's a perfect piece and it's a really pretty color for summer. So we do have a really nice one. The other thing is, is that the quality is just impeccable. There is no wear to the plating. And this is an early 1950s bracelet. This is just such a, such a pretty one. I know, Rhonda. That just means that the pressed piece, is, that just means that when something isn't going to fit you or it isn't the right size, it means that the right piece is coming for you. And it means that it's the right piece that's waiting for someone else. I always do say that, I also believe in that. So if you don't think that it's the right piece for you, but I will say, if it calls out to you, oh man, I had this discussion with somebody else the other day, do not let that piece be the one that got away. <laughs> as many times as I say uh, that the right piece and the perfect piece always goes to the perfect person, we all have those stories of the one that got away. Uh, I tell you always that mine was a Donald Standard necklace, I hemmed and hawed, and this was one for my personal collection, that vintage Hobay necklace that was going on that French couture website for $750. That was a different story. That was a snooze you lose piece. But for those of you who know, like in terms of personal stories, I many, not many years ago, it was already four or five years ago when I started doing this, I fell in love with a Donald Standard double lion necklace. Uh, sometime in our Facebook group, I'll show the picture of it. It had two double lions on it. And then in the center, it had a huge turquoise cabochon. And then it had some purple uh, briolettes or some purple rhinestones cabochons that were dangling below it. And for the life of me, I could just not get it out of my mind. And I did know the dealer who was selling it. And she was going to also give me a very good price on it. But I just kept saying to myself, I don't think, I don't know. I don't know. And of course, it was one of these things where it was a two day event. And I went back the next day and I said, that's it. I said, I'm going to get it. I said, I, I don't know, but it's still calling to me. And I went to go tell her I was going to take it. And she was like, it sold five minutes ago. She's like, I had it for years. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I went home and I looked it up and it was like a $575 piece. And it's a piece that I still think about. <laughs> so, I mean, if I can say with that much specifics, like I can still see it in my head when I close my eyes. Uh, if you see something that you love, don't let it go. Don't let it go. Nothing haunts us like the vintage we didn't buy. So, uh, so we've got this one, which is the carnelian style, or it's got the deeper orangey tone to it. Uh, this one's a fun one too. This one, you can do a lot of different things with the different colors. If you want to see it in comparison to the green, the green is a very, uh, natural, very light, very springy green. It also has a very warm, uh, oh, those Guccini earrings last week. Yeah, those were good ones too. Those were, those were really awesome ones as well. So, and I do, I always, I, um, I like hearing when people tell me like where things are going to go or how they wore them and things like that. I, that's why I love being in the group is because I love when people share their pictures. Uh, and you don't have to wear it. You don't, you don't have to go any place to wear them. You just have to feel good when you wear them. That's the important part. 
Uh, so up next, we have another really classic, a very collectible set from Joffrey Bean. Uh, I was just seeing the other day, there was a really gorgeous uh, example of a yellow dress from Joffrey Bean that was going around. Everybody thinks they, when they think Joffrey Bean, they think of like dress shirts and things like that. But he was actually a very luxurious uh, women's designer for many years in the 50s and 60s. I actually have his book. Uh, he was part of the Ladies Who Lunch series. So his designs were very coveted. Uh, he's another one that's referred to very frequently on shows like Mad Men and Mrs. Maisel uh, for the couture style designs that he did. And he also had some very unique jewelry partnerships, uh, including doing things with Kramer uh, and some other well-known jewelry designers in the 50s and the 60s. So this is a very rare set. Uh, this is both pieces are signed. And this is another one of those ones where you can't tell me, it does have a class that'll go over your high, but you can't tell me that this isn't something that anyone could wear. So this has got a long pendant to it. It is a collectible piece. Uh, you can easily be able to wear this with a caftan, a kimono. You can wear it with a t-shirt like I have it on today. You can wear it with warm tones. You can wear it with cool tones. It's just another one that's really well. This is also a very solid piece as well. Uh, I know that you can't feel the weight and the difference of this one. It is still very comfortable to wear but when you do go ahead and you see this one and you do feel it you realize that it's an actual designer piece of jewelry uh, this one is obviously one of the benefits of being able to wear it it has the long chain on it so with the chain being longer it's also easy to be able to wear the matching earrings without feeling like everything is so matchy matchy Remember for years when everybody said, we don't want anything to match. Uh, and now I feel like people really do want pieces to match and complement each other again. So that's one benefit of being able to offer you the different pieces of the set. However, I do understand some people really like wearing clip earrings. I like wearing clip earrings because I can't wear other kinds of earrings because otherwise it makes my ears itch. Um, thank you, Mr. Michael. My hormones changed it after I had him and I never broke out when I used to wear, um, and I never used to have my ears itch when I wore pierced earrings before, but that's what happens. Sometimes things change. These are those sweet little Avon earrings. If you were following along today with us over on Instagram, I was showing you different ways on how to be able to wear these. And one of the things that I love about them is they really do have a really sweet little feminine preppy feel to them. So for those of you who really like Kate Spade, Mod Cloth, Unique Vintage, uh, if you like that kind of little Sailor Girl style, if you like the little Secretary style, those types of pieces, if you're like a very true vintage enthusiast, the hearts are always appropriate. But hearts are also really collectible. So they're really easy to wear. What makes this one also a nice pair to be able to wear is, is that they're pearl. And again, they're vintage Avon. And I always talk about how I love vintage Avon jewelry because it's really well quality. They worked very closely with lots of well-known designers, including Elizabeth Taylor, Kenneth J. Lane, Jose and Maria Barrera. And so the pieces were very well made. And in addition to that, they were always produced in limited quantities. So very similar to way that we think of like when we had house parties and women would get together and things like that, there would be a limited amount of jewelry that would also be offered by Avon and only certain dealers would, you know, carry them as well. Yes, they are very Audrey to me as well. And it was Audrey Hepburn's birthday this week, you know. So these are just a sweet style. They are, they are big enough that they are not minimalist, but they are small enough that you could be able to wear them every day. And for those of you who like everything from just wearing chic little Parisian striped t-shirts, if you like wearing little floral patterns, if you like wearing things that are very uh, Dior and, you know, petticoat style with like a cinched waist and, you know, a little tool underneath it and everything, you can really do a lot of different things with this. And then of course, you can also mix this with your classic pearl or diamond jewelry as well. All right, I got two more, well, I actually have three more pieces to go because uh, Ms. Caitlin has reminded me repeatedly that I completely forgot to be able to put the measurements up on this flying Phoenix brooch. And I did that yesterday, but they really had to track me down here because I was like, I can't find the pictures. And then I did find them. So this is the little flying Phoenix brooch that everybody kept asking about. 
Uh, it's a gold winged bird that is in mid flight uh, and it has actually a very ambitious quality to it. So when you're thinking of achieving your goals, uh, remember you can be achieving them and soaring high too. I know Anne got a little birdie brooch as well and she's already flying off to you today. So we have got this beautiful little gold brooch that has just the right amount of pave crystals accenting it. Uh, this one is another really classic one uh, and also remember the figural jewelry is always in style uh, sometimes we reference and we talk about like Jill Winebanks and we talk about Madeline Albright. Uh, we talk about, you know, women just in general, even the queen who always have a brooch on. Uh, some of them wear more symbolic brooches. Uh, others wear them more as a style statement to complete their look. But always few brooches should always be in your collection because not only are they easy to wear, they always fit. They're functional, too. So it's very easy to be able to pin them to close your pashmina, decorate a favorite clutch, tuck into your hair, decorate your favorite coat. There's just so many different things that you can do with brooches. They're another one that really is like that double duty like piece that can not only fulfill your needs of having something that's pretty and distinctive, but it's functional and fabulous as well. All right, we got two pieces to go, uh, and then I'm gonna sign off for the night, and I will give you an opportunity to go ahead and take a look at what's new on the website. And I'm also gonna give you homework so that we can enter somebody in the drawing uh, for $25 off at VMM. And it's really easy, so I'm glad you're staying tuned. Okay, so what is the deal with vintage couture designer jewelry? Well, besides the fact that it is fabulous, one of the reasons why we always remind people that what makes the vintage couture and designer pieces special is that they always go up in value. So if you're going to look at vintage jewelry as an investment, one of the things that you can really feel good about is that if you invest in designers like YSL, Chanel, Dior, Givenchy, they all go up in value. Uh, this piece is a particularly more valuable piece because this one is a signed and numbered piece. So just like many other pieces, when certain designers were heads of fashion houses, similar to the way that Tom Ford was for YSL, um, there are many times that there was a very limited run of whatever piece that they would produce. So in the grand scheme of things, this particular piece, which has a very sexy but powerful and fabulous feeling to it, is a signed and number piece from YSL. And this piece features a dark gunmetal chain with this very romantic styled brush gold tone floral detailing. If you're talking about adding a piece that is both edgy and sophisticated, but subtle at the same time, this is the piece. Uh, it lays perfectly when it's on. It is a balance of both the cool and both the warm gold tones on it. It is just a really fabulous piece that's just very easy to be able to wear. And it is a very limited edition piece. So when you think of even like the way that like the Monet Bolero necklace, which is another one that is a very collectible piece and is also a piece that um, really defines and many people collect it because it had such iconic advertisements that went along with it. I know that there are several people who are on here who actually has these pieces. Um, this one is a really fab piece because it is signed and it is numbered. So this one has got to be numbered number 76 out of only 500 that were made. So I love being able to offer you a piece that you just cannot find anywhere else. And if you're going to go and look and you're going to check things out online, this one, like I said, is less than 500 pieces that were made. It is actually issued number 76. Uh, it has the YSL signature both on the name tag as well as actually has it on the back here where it says YSL. So you're getting a true collector's piece when you invest in this one and you will really enjoy wearing it. You will receive so many compliments whenever you do. Okay, final piece of the evening. I am wrapping up with one of my pieces that is absolutely my favorite, and this is the 
Kyoto Damascene necklace. And just like I showed you that piece earlier uh, that was from Monet that had that Cleopatra style to it. I love this one because it fills the neckline, but it also has all of that unique artistic pieces that you just can't find anywhere else. So every single one of these little patterns and every single one of these little plaques basically tells a different story. Some of them have pagodas on them. Some of them have floral detailing. Some of them have butterflies. So each piece really tells a little bit of a story the way that it goes on. Yes, it's edgy, but because of the way that it has a nature scene on it, it also has a very feminine styling to it. But you can have an appreciation for it being very unique and very different. So for those of you who are truly looking for a piece that maybe subtly is symbolically a story or a bit of a way of a series in your journey, that's the style of what you feel when you put on this piece. You feel like each little piece kind of tells something different. And that's the reason why I love this one. That's the reason why I think this one is perfect for an ambitious woman. And I think that that's the reason why this piece is perfect to tell a story the way that style does without you having to say a word. There are so many great quotes on that. So I'm not even going to say that that's personally my own. But for many people who believe that, you know, clothes are what we wear, but the style is what we make of it that's personal to ourselves. That's exactly what this is. So I really, truly hope that you enjoyed tonight's show. Uh, I know we've gone over a little bit of an hour, but as you know, I can talk about jewelry all night long, and I can certainly tell you all the different reasons why I think every single piece here is special. So keeping that in mind, Everything that you see here is one of a kind, authentic vintage. It's been hand sourced. Like I said, that awesome YSL piece that's actually signed and numbered. Uh, and everything that we have is stuff that cannot easily be ever recreated again because many of these designers are uh, no longer in business or they're no longer producing these designs. I mean, I think that there are a few people that we still be able to follow like Signer and uh, Kenneth J. Lane, like there are still some designers and some of them do revival pieces or do reproductions of pieces that were very successful in their line. Uh, but they also, if you talk to some of the great designers, they believe that that was part of a special era and a special time that they had too. So they're proud to produce things that were in limited runs as well. Uh, they might reproduce something if someone really asked, but right now they also focus on bringing you designs that are also current as well. So this one is right. This is an amazing piece that you would just treasure for years to come. And it's another one of those pieces that when you put it on, you just feel good with it on. It's another one of those pieces that magically, because of the way that it designs, just lays so perfectly and so nicely. And you can be able to very easily be able to mix this with your own fine jewelry. So if you've got a small pair of gold huggy hoops, if you wear gold bangles, uh, if you have even a pair of black pearls. These would all be very pretty ways to be able to work with your fine jewelry as well as work with your other designer pieces. So this piece is almost emotional to put on because it's one of those pieces that you feel an aura that goes along with it. And it has a very subtle style statement, but you definitely feel its presence when it's there. So I really enjoyed that so many of you have taken time out of your busy schedule to be here with us. I want to thank very much uh, Leanne and Caitlin for, as usual, doing an amazing job dropping the links to things, as well as making sure that they're uh, directing people to where they need to go. They're like little Vintage Street Modern Cruise directors tonight. And if you have any questions about any of the pieces, please do not hesitate to ask. So we are now at one minute and seven seconds, one hour and seven minutes. And for those of you who have been hanging out, trying to figure out how you're going to win that $25 gift card to VMM, it's really easy. If you're watching now, we would love for you to go over and visit the Vintage Meet Modern website. And we'd like for you to post a link in the comments here to what your favorite piece is at VMM right now. And then next week, when we come back for Jewelry Party Wednesday, we will go ahead and we will enter all of those people into a drawing. And I promise Mr. Michael will be here next week to pull the $25 gift card from all of you. If you're catching in on the replay, 
you can still go ahead and do it as well. So all you need to do is just head on over to VMM and then come back and put in the comments what your favorite piece is right now. And I wanna just quickly address that because we have recently had a wonderful time connecting with some new customers. We've also had a wonderful time having uh, some new partnerships and new collaborations. Your favorite collection on, on the website. It doesn't have to be even from this collection. And that's what I was gonna say. We recently, we had this discussion with people who were just really beginning to get to know us. If you know, uh, we recently did a collaboration with Armour. We also have something else that's in the works with them. Uh, we also have got several other collaborations that are coming up because we believe in supporting other women brands and we love when they support us as well. And so as we get to have some more followers and more people share the joy of jewelry together, we want you all to know that the collection does move really fast around here. So your favorite piece that we have have right now at VMN today might not be your favorite piece tomorrow because it might not be here anymore. Uh, that's one of the joys and one of the challenges of actually running this company is that the things move very fast and often we can't get the second the same piece again. Uh, we can sometimes get something very similar, but not ever a promise that we can get something similar. So the website's always changing, which is fun. It's uh, it's kind of like, you know, a little bit of a spinning wheel there, and it's a little kaleidoscope. Every time you look at it, you really will see something different. So head on over to VMM, post a post uh, related. I see we've got somebody who's already saying that they like the vintage gold and pave phoenix brooch. That's all you need to do. You just need to head on over to the website and then drop a link in the comments here about what your favorite piece is. Uh, and we can't wait to see what you have your eye on or what piece you're loving too, you know, because it's really fun. And right now we're all enjoying doing some window shopping online or literally just walking by shops and doing some window shopping while we're out stretching our legs too. So everybody stay safe, stay happy, stay sparkly, and stay stylish. That is my show for this evening. Uh, we do have a special sale going on right now. It'll be ending at the end of the night. If you are on our email list, you probably got it. It's one piece is 15% off, two pieces are 20% off, and three pieces are 25% off. And if you need the code, uh, if you've got one, two, or three pieces uh, in your cart and you can't find the code, either just let us know or message us here in the chat box and uh, we'll be sure and be happy to go ahead and connect that with you. But that's another reason why you should be on our VIP list. All right, ladies, it has been so fun getting to hang out with you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. And I will see you all again real soon.